In this video, I want to give you a flavor of remote acupuncture coaching and what that can look like. I've been working with a practitioner in Indonesia who's been uh, studying meridian therapy. He's also studied a non-insertive tation technique with Funamizu Sensei in Japan. So putting those things together, my brief is to help him with the whole workflow of meridian therapy, palpating the skin, taking the pulse, looking at the belly, and then needling and using all those feedback mechanisms to inform the progress of the treatment. So let's take a look at that and see what's happening. Okay. So uh, just, um, just practice putting your Oshide on the point. D don't okay. worry about locating the point, just, just stand there so that you can feel what it, what you're going to end up as you, don't look for the point just just pretend liver eight just just put the oshide on a pretend liver eight yeah okay and now put the tation in the oshide so can you see how much more comfortable your arms are in this position yeah true yeah but you're how making... i locate the point how okay. how to locate the point i can can you see me mm. Can you move your finger? Okay, now I can see it. Yeah, so your hand is pointing towards the floor. So you can... Ah, okay, okay. You can try that. Oh, like this? Yeah. Oh, oh I think I got the point here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, now I make a CD. Your Shidei much loose. Okay, now I introduce a rotation. I check my posture, breathing naturally. And okay, your Oshide is a little bit heavy. Just lighten up. Because okay. Now, how about now? That's better. Okay, advance the needle a little bit more. I think I have any chill at all now. A little bit more. Now you are. Yeah. Okay, close the bottom surface. Breathe slowly. That's it. Now she's flowing. I think advance the tation just a little bit more. Yeah, you got it now. Now you're in the chi flow. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel the chi building. Now yes. it's crossing the point. Yeah, you can remove. Okay, what's the point? Mm. Oh my God, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when I do this, sometimes I feel like uh, breathing is rather kind of like heavy on my chest. Mm. Why is that? What's happening? Tell me in a minute, take the pulse first before the pulse okay. quality chain uh, goes away. Believe her pulse, but strong. <laughs> Yeah, it's strong now. The pulse feels stronger. The, you you, mean, you mean the pulse. general quality is better, or do you mean that the the liver pulse is I better? Just, I straight go to the liver pulse, but mm. generally the pulse is generally stronger, slower, and less hard. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, generally, after needling, the first thing I do is I feel the general quality. Oh. I want to see how the overall flow of chi and blood has changed after leadling liver eight. And then afterwards, I think, okay, now I'll see whether or not I managed to get the liver pulse stronger. So you're always thinking in terms of this general pulse quality, the, the middle pulse, and seeing how that's changed. That's the most important yeah. feedback mechanism. Okay, yeah. great. We're going to do kidney 10. 
So many thanks to Yudi Gajali, who's given me permission to share this material with you. And in the next clip, we'll see what we can do about his breathing and back pain whilst he's needling.